It may be one of the deadliest attacks on civilians of the war thus far. The number of dead reportedly growing as rescue workers dig through the rubble. The Russian missile hit a shopping mall in Kremenchuk, a city far from the front lines. President Volodymyr Zelensky said in a post on Telegram that a thousand civilians were inside and that it's impossible to imagine the number of victims. Ukraine's president accused Russia of trying to sabotage people's attempts to live a normal life, which he says make the Russians angry. The city's mayor wrote on Facebook that he's 100% certain that this area had no links to Ukraine's military. Emergency workers are racing to get under the debris to find survivors in a scene reminiscent of just one day earlier. When at least one Russian missile struck the capital of Kiev in the dawn hour Sunday, hitting, according to the city's mayor, at least two residential buildings. Zelensky said the attack killed a 37-year-old man and injured his wife and young daughter. Her rescue from the partially collapsed building captured in this video and photos from the hospital. Ukraine's Air Force says the buildings were hit by cruise missiles fired from warplanes over the Caspian Sea, more than 900 miles away. Russia's military spokesperson says four missiles hit their target, a Ukrainian munitions factory, calling them highly precise. Presumably, one of the downed anti-aircraft missiles fell on a residential building, he said. The attack on the capital, where Zelensky has remained throughout the war, comes as Biden officials say the U.S. will send Ukraine an advanced missile defense system that can hit 72 targets at once. Basically, this is a ground launched version of an air-to-air -air missile that is linked to a ground radar and together they provide defenses against aircraft and cruise missiles. The NASAM system's defensive capabilities holds an important, if not well-known, role in the U.S. It's used really just in one very specialized function in the United States and that's to protect the White House. That same protection is now being offered to Ukraine's capital and its president. A further note on the missile attack in Kyiv, it landed on the same building, the exact same building as the one it, that was hit just a few months ago. End of April, I was there in Kyiv and saw the destruction firsthand and there too, there was a casualty. It was a Ukrainian journalist who died in that attack. It's been not since the beginning of June since Russia has attacked the capital of Ukraine, attacking at the same time that leaders from the world are convening in Europe for the G7 to discuss Russia's aggression. Chance? Probably no accident. Jason Bellini live tonight. Thank you.